Hi lads, I'm just uh, going to go out for a bit. I've got some new bits to show you. So I'm just going to cut up some veggies. Take some minestrone soup. And uh, we'll see what happens. My fave. I could eat mushrooms till they come out of my ears. These are about on turn actually, they'll be all right boiled up, no doubt. If you can hear anything, it's my cat just behind the camera. She's a mardy arse and wants to go out. Lights probably cracked, so I ain't got kitchen light on. It's only about half six. I've just been watching videos. I was watching um, a, a guy subscribed to in America. Um, I forgot his name now. Kev Kevin Crammer something. He's about 70 year old geezer. He's an absolutely brilliant channel. Really, really informative. And I watched that, and he's, he's just fantastic. And I just thought, bugger this, I've got to go out. <laughs> So this is just a quick chuck out in the bloody pot because I don't want to go mad I just want to eat plenty of veg because the missus is doing the Sunday dinner. Oh, oh. Got some chilli action and some onions in here. Just vegetables, I'm not taking any meat. God, that's making my eyes run. Anyway, I'm going to show off my new bits of toys I've got. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright lads, last says it's Sunday morning. It's uh, just gone seven o'clock. I'm out on my own today. Um because uh, it's just a quick in this. I've got a few bits of kit like I said earlier. Um so I'm just gonna have a quick walk up to a normal place for a change. I'm sure everybody's getting bored of it. And uh have a play for a few hours. Then uh, me and missus and dogs are half out up to local trail whip mother-in-law we're just going to pop up to the pub for a coffee and that and then a Sunday dinner so I've only got a few hours spare really I've got a mountain of stuff to chuck up the tip and I've just seen something down there and it looks like a bloody wolf what the hell is that I hope this this ain't going to see that there's something running along the bottom of the field there well I reckon it's a dog I don't know what the hell it is it looks like a bloody I don't know what that is God knows. I'll keep away from that. Looks like a bloody cross between a coyote and a wolf. <laughs> and I don't think we'll get them round here. It's somebody's flipping dog, I think. It looks a bit stray. Anyway, yeah, so uh, I've got some nice titanium tit bits to titalise your taste buds. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. All right, lads and lasses, I've had a bit of a reshuffle in my kit. I've got this old um, snug pack response pack fallen to bits I've had to stitch it up the stitching rules wasn't very good on it I've cut all the bits and bobs that I don't need there's all flipping belts and buckles I never use them and it's just going to be my kit bag now for um, brew and food so uh, it's right handy because there's loads of little pockets and bits and bobs so I've got my milk and brew stuff I've got, I bought quite a bit of titanium stuff, so I've gone a bit to, uh, what's it, on the old uh, lightweight bandwagon, and it's paid off for me anyway, but anyway. So, I've got these couple of toys, MSR um, spoon and fork, stupidly expensive, but now I've got them, they'll last me forever. They weigh nothing, I mean, bloody hell, nothing. Uh, so, what else have we got in here? I'll show that in a minute. So... Obviously, you know, I rave on about my Titan kettle, like many do. <laughs> so, and what I've also bought, and I can get entangled, I've got the, uh, I bought the, it says on the bottom, Seagull, but anyway, Titan Cup, whatever you want to call it, another rip-off expensive thing. I've used it quite a bit. It's bizarre how light it is. 
if you have a cuppa, as you're drinking it, obviously you've got the weight of the liquid. The time you get to the bottom, you feel like you've got a note in your hand, it's really weird. It weighs absolutely nothing. Fits inside the kettle, brilliant. Uh, what else have we got? After watching Foxy, uh, 51 Foxy, Paul, all right, mate, if I can find my bits. So I went for the, I uh, forgot the name of it now, Evernew. So we've got the Evernew cross stand. As you can see, look at that beautiful colour on that. I love titanium when it colours up. Or well, steel for that matter, but beautiful. And uh, the pride and joy, I got the ever new titanium burner. That is bloody fantastic. For me, for what I need, it's absolutely top, top danglers. That fits in there. I'll show you in a bit when I cook that food up, but brilliant thing about this is it does eat up your water very quickly which isn't always an issue but it's nice to know you've got the power there if you need it but when you've uh, when it's heated up and it's all nice and running if you want to simmer you just put your pot straight on take the cross stand off put your pot straight on top and then it cools off eventually and then it, it sort of just burns out the bottom burners here and the, the full thrust of the open uh, fuel chamber so now I'll show you that in a bit. I'm absolutely over the moon with this bit of kit. Expensive, took about two weeks to get here, the burner did. Yeah, about two weeks for both bits actually. And um, I used it yesterday, it only came yesterday. And I used it, for, I was messing about for about three hours trying different pots and it's just, for me, brilliant. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit when I've got it sorted. Yeah, on the inside of this you've got uh, markers showing you how many millilitres so it's really handy because I've worked out I need less than the lower marker just to brew up um, I think these are 450 these um, the Titan cup 450 mil but I'm going to put about 350 in and it takes less than uh, less than the lower mark so anyway I'm just going to stick quite a wallop in there that'll last me for a bit it does drink fuel this does compared to the Tranger but it's a smaller chamber so it's relative isn't it I think it does actually burn quicker, but it burns hotter, so six of one after some of the other. Here's the old trusty quencher fire starter. Boston. I put that bit of soil, uh, foil down. I'm not sure if it makes any odds, but uh, might help it just warm up that little bit. It's still, still pretty cool here. It's. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute when this tempy thing works. According to this, it's... Uh, Wait for it to update, but it's around about, I imagine it's about 10 degrees now. So, uh, pretty interesting stuff this, isn't it? <laughs> if you're a strove freak, it is. I've found with this, it doesn't actually take that long to get the old uh, prime going. So, I'll leave that there for oh, yeah. So, I'm going to use the old water tap. But te oh, I can squeeze it in, I suppose. It's a bit of a ball, eh? But that bloody thing comes off. It's as slow as bloody hell this is. Yeah, the little um, jets have round the edge of an hour bloomed and it'll start going in a bit, I can imagine. I'll just put that... Uh... This is a really good setup for me, just for one person. You probably, at a stretch, you could do two people with this, but this just works out brilliant for me because I can make me brew up. Because I've got the Titan, I can just... I can actually just bung that straight on and do another brew in that, so it's fantastic. Put that on there. The only uh, downside to this, obviously, you've got to make sure your ground's reasonably flat, or you're going to hear the bloody lot over. That's the only downside, but we'll see. I'm quite happy. That is just for me. That is fantastic. It, that whole setup weighs bloody next to no. I've got my old uh, windshield, but I don't think I need it today, but you get the idea. One thing got to watch with this, because it is bloody powerful. It, uh, it doesn't half eat the handle up on the old Titan. It gets bloody red hot. <laughs> but anyway, that's a bit fun, I'll just back it off a bit. So 
so anyway that's uh i just love that so much lads that is mint look at that for a setup that's beautiful <laughs> and if anybody's watching i'm sure somebody keeps coming down to this place i've got an idea where it might be but i'm chuffed if they do but i've noticed like one or two sticks have been lined up i've, I've shifted through some sticks i should have filmed it really just lined up down here so what I've done, if you are watching, I'm going to leave that stick stood up there. And uh, if anybody does come up, but you don't want to be named, it's fine by me, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But um, just stick another stick next to it or, or something. Make it obvious that somebody's been here. I'm, I'm quite interested. Quite entertaining, really. But uh, anyway, it's a lovely morning. It seems very odd to not have at least one of the dogs with me. It's um, it's been dead easy to get up here. I ain't got to have eyes in the back of my head, but I feel a little bit lonely. <laughs> so I'm used to company at dogs. But anyway, they're only a mile and a half, two mile away down there. It's not the end of the world. But it's also nice to not have to think about them as well. Hmm. Anyway, that's tootling away nicely, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Well, lad, she's ro ro roaring away here, but the handle's a bit hot. So, I'm just going to pour this out quick. You see it flames around here. It's, it's flipping, it's evil, this burner is. It's a right beast. Look at it. It's a minute. Anyway. First time in anger for the uh, Titan Cup in the woods. So, the next plan of action is get some more water in this quick I'll take the lid off this takes bloody ages if you don't take the lid off this is clean water so I'm not there's no point in filtering it really it takes bloody time I ain't got a clue how much water to put in here from the veggie I'll just probe it in I'll get that back on ouch that's still quite warm that is, <laughs> it's like a flipping flamethrower compared to the transit. And uh, So yeah, I'll just, uh, that'll not take long at all to get whizzing away, that not. loving this bag I mean it's a bit tatty and you can see I've just chopped all the crap off but I've got all compartments for salt and pepper and I brought all the snap in it as well because it's quite a decent size inside you can fill it right out so I put everything in it, it stinks of onions mind you <laughs> but a uh, bit of a strange breakfast it's nice healthy my next door neighbour I don't know if I mentioned it before my next door neighbour I helped him out years ago um, with a bit of wood and he's made a a bean run, put his run of beans up on it and every year he always sends me a couple of bags round which is brilliant, these are lovely, when you just boil them up, put the salt on them, they're flipping lovely and uh, anyway so, I've only got mushrooms and you, see, you saw what I got in here it's quite an healthy breakfast really and that's not going to take long to brew up I don't think that yeah, I've seen one or two people put um, a winding round here, I might um, see if I can get some carbon or something these handles do get bloody hot, especially with this burner. That's not far off. So, oh, spot my deliberate mistake, undid the lid. <laughs> it's all right, I've got enough. I've got in front of the brew there, that was a bit of a silly trick. Better squirt a bit on that, it's gonna sting. Be can't see this um, this sick mat I've got because it got wet the other week when I come out with dogs. It bloody stinks. Right, a cross between swamp water and dog. This miss sick mat. So I'm gonna have to get that to ragging off and all. Looks on it. Anyway, I love it. Titan tea in the woods. That's beautiful. Let's 
is a, what I've noticed, I noticed you know, somebody else on about it. These are titanium things, don't half creak and whistle and make all sorts of noises. This is not far off now. So what I'm gonna do, that's nearly um, nearly boiled. I've worked out I hope you can see this with this angle. Let's just take this off a minute. It saves a hell of a lot of food fuel. This will burn for bloody ages. Uh, right. This sometimes sticks. It sort of expands onto the bloody thing itself. These are absolutely scorching hot. Scorching. So what you do now... Put that on there. It'll flare up for a bit. And then it just... Uh, it'll calm down. You might be able to see it hang out. Calm down in a bit. And it does, um, it's sort of a, a vigorous simmer, if you like. Just off at boil. Right. Put this lot in. I think I'm going to run out of fuel enough to put a bit more in, but it doesn't matter. Uh, might, uh, that'll go down in a bit when it gets warmed up. Well, that looks gorgeous. Might not be enough. Oh, there's, there's yeah, just enough water in there. I love this setup. That is brilliant. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. I'll just drop cam down. It's going to be a funny angle, but anyway. If you can see that. Oops, just move around a bit. Not tipping everything up. If you look at the flames now, they've calmed right down. Sorry about the angle, but it's on it's on the uh, what's it? Eye glide, so I can't square it up. And uh it um it just calms it down and I, I thought myself disadvantage of this oh, let me just level this bugger up. I've got a bloody twig on it too, it level it. Disadvantage of the this burner um first of all seems that you have if you've been using the transure a lot, bloody hell I can't let, let me just level this damn. If you've been using the transure a lot you get used to the convenience of the simmering, which you can actually use on this, but I've not brought it. In a minute, I'm going to flip my lid because this won't balance. <laughs> Come on. Sorry about this, lads. It's all live. <laughs> you bloody thing. Oh, for God's sake. Right, that'll have to do. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to get this on. I hope it does. Anyway. The beauty of the transfer is, as we all know, it, um, you can sim simmer it, lasts for ages and all the rest of it, but because I read somewhere, somebody else mentioned that you can drop it down onto here and it simmers, it's absolutely brilliant. That's now nice simmering. You haven't got any weight or anything. It weighs about 30 gram, 32 grams, I think. There's nothing. You can't even tell you've got it. So, uh, bloody fantastic. Sorry for waffling, lads, but you know how it is. It might need some more juice in a bit. But, uh, well it does. Obviously, you've got to add... I cleaned this out the other day, because... Uh, it, uh, it tends to get damp in the bag. It's nearly got some go in it. But that's just starting to bubble now, that's lovely. What we're going to do, just to give it a bit of something. Looks very appetising, not, but it will be lovely when it's done. Okay. I'll 
christen the fork. So, I, I, honestly, I can. It's a, it's a double thum, thumbs up. Thumbs? It's a double thumbs up to this um, ever new titanium burner. I'd recommend this to anybody. Even if they don't like alcohol, it's worth a try, this is, because you'd be surprised. I can. Um, if you're into comparisons with time, I did some timings yesterday just messing about. And I can do a, a decent mug of tea in about three minutes, three three minutes, three and a half minutes. So, and it that's probably about about 20 millilitres of fuel, something like that, 15, 20 millilitres. Holy jackal. So, still burning. One thing I did test as well, I put 30 millilitres of fuel using the markers inside the burner, put a pot on top, and I think 30 millilitres lasted about 18 minutes. So, you know, you can cook a meal on it, just simmer it. One of my plans is, I'm gonna try and do some dry baking. Um, I've looked online about it, but put your mix in the cup, put some water in, put lid on, and let it simmer. And hopefully, I'll see what happens. I, I want to try to do some muffins and that, I'll have another go. Uh, sometime soon. Like that. So anyway, put it on. I'm catching a bit. I think I've been um, again quite a steady steam. Uh, steam. <laughs> I'm getting a steady steam on. I'm getting a steady stream of um, new subscribers to my channel, which is fantastic. Really, I'm surprised. I've got about 330, 40, whatever. This guy's just. Um, I'm just looking at him. I'm going to subscribe. Danny Pavioli or Summit Online. Pavarotti, I can't remember his name now. Uh, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, mate, if you watch this one. Um, and just look straight away. His first video I've looked at is, is discussing different st um, stoves and things. Um, brilliant. I love stuff like this. Absolutely love it. And just look at this, talking of stoves. Look at that. That is poetry. As you can see, it's... A, it's, um, it's well, it's virtually a boil, that, isn't it? It's a heavy simmer. <laughs> if it, um, I'll see what it cooks like, but I've had to put some more fuel in. It'll last, that lasts about 18 minutes, give or take. So I've just put another 30 mil in. And, um, hold on, let me just pause this video, not to miss this. And, um, what my, one of my ideas was, if it's a bit too heavy on the boil, just to block a few holes up. I might even, like, cut a a piece of tin so that you can like put it on and just calm it down if I need to but we'll see I'm, I'm really impressed with that anyway like I was saying I'm getting a steady stream of um, new subscribers so I'm thinking when I've got up to a, a good amount I might do a bit of a, a giveaway thing I've got plenty of stuff I don't use that much now considering it anyway hmm. Ladies. Well lads, I, um, like I said, I refilled this, put 30 mil in, and I've just timed it. I'm a bit boring, but it's, it's actually lasted out here because it's colder today. It's lasted 16 and a half minutes. So, obviously it's all experimentation at the minute. That's now burnt out, and my stew looks banging. So, I know from that, I mean, this is, let me just try, I'll actually try some of the veg. So, that obviously that was just runner beans. Spuds might take a little bit longer. Nice. <laughs> I say it every time, but it's simple, isn't it? Just veg and a bit of uh, well, minestrone soup, I think. Fantastic. That is done. Really tasty. It's lovely. It's just veg what I had in the ass. Strange bit of a breakfast, but it's actually... I should imagine reasonably healthy, plenty of minerals and stuff. Not that many calories, I shouldn't imagine, if you're doing some mega hike trip. But uh, I don't want to fill the old tummy up too much. So they'll be having a turbo Sunday dinner, no doubt, today, and followed by 
a flag and a veil. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it? So yeah, that is just mint. I've used, obviously, you bring the tranja with you, you leave fuel in it. That was near enough full. I think this is a, it's a 125 millilitres um, Nalgene bottle. And by the looks of that, I've probably used, I'd say about, about 35, 40 mil, something like that. That's a guesstimate. So, sorry, that's not right, is it? Probably about 40 to 50 mil, actually, thinking about it, yeah. And I've had one brew and cooked to dinner, so work out from that what you may. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my snap now, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back on and just bung it straight on with the simmer, and by the time I've had my snap, I'll have another brew going. So, uh, I'm just loving, this This for me just works. I mean, for other people, it might not be what you're after, but this setup now weighs nothing, seriously lightweight, and it's really manageable. So, thanks for uh, to Foxy and watching the video. That made me go for this one, and it's probably one of the better decisions I've made. I've, I've made a few just lately, actually. Anyway, I'll shut up now, because my snap's going to go cold, isn't it, if I'm not careful? And anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Because of how this pot is, it will support any size of cup, which we know can be a pain in the arse. But look at that. That's a beautiful thing, that is. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. And I'm oh, just having a snap. I've ended up using up all my fuel, because I've been messing about. Two brews, dinner, and um, there was about, I don't know, 50 millilitres left. I bunged it all in. And uh, I'm just washing my pot off with some... Um, I got some water out of the um, lake over there. I'm just washing the pot out. <laughs> it's doing the dancing, flipping. I don't know what here. <laughs> of course, it's on just on top of the stove, so obviously it's uh, not so stable. But you get a, a gist of the power of that thing. I'm just going to clean the crap off it a bit and uh, put that away. And uh, I think I'm gonna have a play about. I brought actually brought me um, my tarp with me. Um, it's only it's twenty past nine. My missus just texted me and said that uh, her mum and dad's not coming now. I don't know. They've changed their mind. Whatever. They've got something else on. So it means I've got a bit more time. So I might um, what's it? Set me set me tarp up and have a quick go with that. So I, I haven't. I've left the tent at home today. But uh, anyway. Catch you later. Oh, lads. I've, um, I'm right pleased with this. I've just uh, been messing about with tarp, and uh, I've been looking at um, loads of people's show setup ideas, and I've done all different ones. I've never used sticks before. Anyway, that's what I've come up with. It's a rip off of somebody else's idea where you're pinning from the corners, uh, stringer off, apex jobby with a big stick, roper out, and also roper at the back to give you a bit of extra head space at the back end. This is the DD 3x3 and uh, I'm absolutely pleased with that. <laughs> it's lovely inside, nice and airy. Lots of uh, light coming in because it's a quite a nice bright morning but uh, I'm really pleased with that. That's uh, probably one of the better setups I've done. Um, this time of year as well that green really does um, blend in quite well. You can see where I've done, lads. It's pretty easy to work out. It's only a ten-minute job. It took me ten minutes. Uh, so I've folded in. Effects for the tops should be out here. So I've gone in one, both ends folded under. So you've got a nice area at the back, a dry ground to put your stuff on. Obviously, if it were raining, you can go in there quick, chuck your stuff in, and then get the rest of your kit out. But you've got a bit of a dry surface. And. Uh, Basically, I've got these nice pins. I've had these for ages, these um, triangle ones. They go into, into this loose stuff quite well. I've used the odd stick. I've got some more pins, but I used sticks to start with and then decided I better use them pins because uh, the ground's really loose here. So, uh, yeah, I'll take you inside. Not a lot to see, really. The old sticks over in roof up. And uh, it's a bit low here. But effectively, you can get in. Whoops. And um, you've got a bit of dry area to chuck your bag on quick. And uh, anyway, effectively, uh, if you sit out here a bit, 
got plenty of red room you could actually stick her out a bit more pull the roof up more but uh, this is min I do like this actually it's quite a good uh, little setup very nice plenty of rooms plenty of room even with the door shut um, oh, sorry for the camera come out again obviously the when the weather were bad you'd have to build this against the rain uh, the rain coming in obviously we can just flick these across and uh, I'd have to take that pin out pull it across you could just tweak this across then tie it off if it was a bit windy and you've got a nice enclosed space there so uh, Plenty of room here, you can lay, there's enough room there for me to lay out, dead easy. Oh yeah, so uh, fun in the woods. Catch oh, you later. It's positively lovely in here lads. I'll show you around the uh, Desres. I've pulled um, the pins in, took another pin in at the bottom there, so you can actually get a door. So you'd be pretty enclosed in here, as long as the wind won't blowing straight in. I'm sure you could get by and I've just staked the doors out at bottom so I'll go outside and have a look what it looks like you dump in that just open one of the doors so we can get out sounds like early chopters coming off it and that door when you're inside So uh, that's what she looks like. There's plenty of room actually. It's, it's deceiving. You can't tell. So I'm right pleased with that. There's, you know, there's oodles of room inside there. I could have gone lower and had a bit more room on inside, but uh, anyway, it's right. I'm right pleased with that. Really am. That's definitely uh, the way to go. I think I'd rather do that and string it up. Generally I swing them up because it's e easier and quicker but to be fair that's a pretty pretty handy setup that dead easy I mean if I can do it anybody can do it <laughs> so you've got two two tie off points probably about a five foot piece of wood obviously you could tie up if you hadn't got any wood available if there was trees that is there to tie to and uh, five or six pins in pretty pretty handy little setup that I'm quite pleased I've been on about getting a top um, a smaller one but uh, that's brilliant the only thing I would like to go for one of them super light ones because that's quite heavy I can I can halve the weight really that's two pound with all the the uh, paracord and pins and stuff you can get it down to about 600 grams probably less than that with the super light anyway it's just a thought but that's pretty damn good Anyway, I'm going to wrap up in a minute and uh, I shall catch you all later.